Hello, Stampers. I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Today, I'm going to be sharing a beautiful fun fold with you. It is part of the One Stamp at a Time Design Team Blog Hop. And this month, our theme is Season of Cheer. So I think we're going to see lots of beautiful Christmas cards on the Blog Hop today. Make sure when you get to the end of my video, you click on the link that's going to be in the top right corner of the screen. That will take you to the blog post where you can find a list of the other stampers that are going to be hopping in this blog. You go from blog to blog to blog and you'll see all kinds of beautiful creations. I chose to use the Marius Moments stamp set today as well as the dies and this gorgeous embossing folder. I can't hardly wait to show this to you. It is so pretty. Let's flip this camera around and get started. We are going to be using some beautiful Christmas colors today. And you'll find this painted Christmas designer series paper is just phenomenal to design Christmas projects with. We have a piece for our envelope. This is two and a half by six. We're going to be using a piece of cherry cobbler that is four and three quarters by nine and three quarters. A piece of the evening evergreen that is four and a quarter by five and a half. I chose to use this pattern of the designer series paper. This is four by five and a quarter. And then you'll need two basic white pieces that are three by four and a half. We're also gonna have some basic white scraps that we're gonna need. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in my paper trimmer and we are going to score this cherry cobbler layer. And we're going to score this at three and a quarter and six and a half. We're going to get our stamping done right away. Now I am choosing to use Bumblebee, Real Red, and Evening Evergreen. And before I forget, I have to tell you that the card that I am going to make for you today is actually designed by Dee Esplana. She is one of my team members out of Coparis Cove, Texas. And we do a month a monthly swap with our team meeting. And I can tell you that every month Dee's card is just absolutely gorgeous. I contacted her to see if I could make this card for you today and she said she would be honored. So I'm super excited to be sharing it with you because you're gonna love it. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is we are going to be using the Merriest Moments bundle of products. So you've got 16 different gorgeous stamp images and sentiments in here, as well as the Merriest Frames hybrid embossing folder. This is one of those really cool folders. We're going to die cut first, and then we're going to emboss. We're also going to be using the Merriest Frames dies. Now this is a set of 16 different dies and it is just so many pretty things. Okay, we're gonna stamp some sentiments. I'm going to be using, now even though we're using Cherry Cobbler for the card stock, we're going to be using Real Red for the ink. And I'm just going to stamp a sentiment right in the middle of this layer. And then we're going to use the season's greetings and stamp that right in the middle of this layer. And then we've got some poinsettias that we need to put in here too. The center of the poinsettias are going to have these little tiny dots in bumblebee ink. And 
And then we've got, there's three different holly leaves in here. And we've got a very small one, a big one, and a medium sized one. I am using the medium and the small one. And we're gonna use that in the Evening Evergreen ink, which is a, just a gorgeous, gorgeous color for Christmas. Let's see. Just wanna kinda of stamp this around. Oops. Make sure I get enough ink on here. Just want a little bit of green happening on these, by these flowers. Do one right here. Aren't those pretty? Okay, next up, we are going to put our layers together. Let me move these out of the way before I make a mess here. I'm going to put these pieces together. So I just fold it on my score lines. You want to make sure that you burnish those edges really good. We're going to take the designer paper layer and add it right to the front of this evening evergreen. And then we're going to take this one. You want to make sure that this piece goes like this and that you're gluing it down because we want this front layer to be you know, to go like this, okay? So we're going to add this, and we're just gonna center that right on our designer series paper layer. Okay, this layer can go right in the middle. And as I was getting ready, cutting all my layers and and um, taking a look at Dee's card to make sure I knew what I was doing. I was thinking, oh my gosh, wait till this gets done. But you could use this middle layer to hold a gift card. That would be very cool. The other thing that I thought of is if you have a family photo, I think like a black and white family photo would look beautiful right here. So wait till we get the card done and then you can let me know what you think of that. So this is what we have so far. Now, we are going to grab the scraps and do some stamping on those. You need two of the large poinsettias. And I never know if I'm supposed to say poinsettia or just poinsettia. But you know what I mean, right? Sometimes words are hard. <laughs> we're gonna do two big ones and two small ones. And then we're also going to do, whoops, hang on, I just set my ink pad down in the red. And we know that's gonna get all over. You need two green larger leaves and then two small ones. So this is like a nice little template for all the pieces. Okay. Then you're gonna need a piece, a scrap of cardstock that is four and a quarter by five and a half. And we are going to bring in our dies. We're gonna use this big die and we're gonna die cut this image on this basic white. And then we're going to take the larger poinsettia and we're gonna die cut these flowers. We're gonna die cut the small one. Let's see if I can figure this out. I think it goes like the, nope. There we go, just like that. And then we have the medium leaf and the small one. We're gonna die cut all of those. I'm gonna take these over to my machine and die cut everything. I'll be right back.
Okay, here's all of our flowers and our holly leaves, or poinsettia leaves, I guess. <laughs> and I'm just gonna pop this out, make sure all my little bits and pieces are out of there. This is a really nice die as everything really comes out of there. And then we need to grab that embossing folder. Here it is. So now I'm gonna bring this and set it down in here. And this is gonna pop right in here. Let me wipe that ink off my embossing folder. You see that I did that. <laughs> and you're just going to set this down in place. Now, these are hybrid embossing folders in that you should be able to place your cardstock in here, put the die on top of it in the embossing folder and run it all through at once so it cuts and embosses at the same time, I think. I don't wanna do that. I just, I don't know. I just, it's not for me. I'm okay doing two steps like this. So if you have done that and you've seen other people do that, that's great but this is the way that I do it. I'm gonna run this through my embossing folder now and it's going to emboss all these little outside edges. Okay, so hang tight. Now here is that embossed layer and you can see all the detail on all of these elements. It is just spectacular, right? Okay, now we're gonna take this and we are going to stamp the other greeting, the one that says a joyful Christmas to you and yours. Again, I'm using the real red ink. I'm gonna stamp that right in the middle. And now we're gonna take these flowers and we're going to layer them. I'm not gonna use dimensionals because I think we've got enough layers with the folds on our card and this embossed layer that we don't want too much bulk in here. So I'm choosing not to use dimensionals in between my flower layers or to put my flowers onto my card front. And that's, I just wanted you to know why I'm doing that. Okay, we're gonna pop these in here. Oh my goodness. I can't hardly wait for you to see the end result here. It's just so pretty. And then we're gonna tuck in some of these leaves. So I'm just gonna put some glue in the middle of my flower. I'm not putting glue all over around it because I wanna be able to tuck those leaves in under here. Oh, you know what I wanted to do? Hang tight, let me get this off quick. Hang on. I wanted to bring in some of this beautiful gold shimmer ribbon and I'm just gonna take a tiny little piece and I'm just gonna, whoops, I need that to be a little, angled a little bit more. I just want a tiny little piece like this. And I'm gonna attach this. Let's see. I'm gonna grab my mini glue dots and I'm gonna attach this to the back of my flowers with, hmm, yeah, let's try it. We can always trim it if we need to attach this right here and then I just find that um, mini glue dots work really good with ribbon. Lots of adhesives don't like to work good on the ribbon but the mini glue dots do. Okay so I've got that. We're going to do the same thing on this one. I think I'll just put that right there. And we'll cut another little piece. Oops, let's do it this way. Nope, that's wrong. <laughs> I need to cut it this way. There we go. I wanna make sure I get them on there both the same. And I just want a little bit of that ribbon sticking out from underneath my flower. Just like that, just a little bit. So we're gonna take another mini glue dot and we're gonna put that right in there. And that's gonna hold that ribbon in place. Okay, Whew. All right, now because we have this ribbon on here, 
I'm thinking mini ludats are a better alternative than liquid glue for this flower. So I'll put a little glue dot there and then one right on that ribbon because that ribbon's kind of sticking up and I don't want my flowers to be falling off. So we're going to go like this. Don't let your flowers cover up your sentiment there. That's kind of what I'm paying attention to. And then I'm going to do this one right in here. That's stuck down good. Now we can tuck these leaves in underneath and mini glue dots to the rescue. You could add a little bit of liquid glue to your leaves if you wanted to, but I'm thinking that this is just going to be easier and I'm going to avoid any mess if I use the glue dots. Yep, I like that a lot. This one, I think I'm gonna pop this right in here. And then we have one more, there it is. I thought, oh gosh, did I lose it? Nope, I got it. Don't worry. <laughs> it's here. And then we'll put this one in right over here. What do you think? Is that not so beautiful? Okay, let's get this together and then we'll put the final details on. We are going to add some glue to the back of this layer and we are going to put this right centered over all of this. Now make sure that it's inside the edges of this green layer, the evening evergreen, because otherwise it won't fit in an envelope. Oh my gosh, I told you this was gonna be amazing, right? Okay, now I have some gilded gems. I brought the gold in. I wanted a little bit of gold in here because I needed to coordinate with my um, little treat holder that I have that goes with this project. So. I am bringing in the gold ribbon and these gold gilded gems. And I thought that would work perfect with what I'm putting together here. Isn't that pretty? That little bit of bling with that gold. I absolutely love this. <gasps> gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, one more thing we need to do is we need to get our envelope decorated. So I'm just going to put some glue on the flap, we're going to add this two and a half by six inch piece of designer series paper to our envelope flap and trim around the outside. Here's our envelope. Here is our beautiful fun fold. Is that not super, super pretty? And again, gift card, you could put a little envelope type thing here or a little pocket. You could use it for a gift card holder. You could also replace this layer with your family photo or perhaps your child's photo or whatever you'd like to do with that in the middle. But I think that would be really, really cool. There's one last thing that I have this is a little treat holder that matches this whole thing, right? I use the same painted Christmas designer series paper, evening evergreen, cherry cobbler, the gold ribbon, this unties, and you could tuck a gift card in here if you want to. I've got a little bit of shred in here with some of these Christmas candies. This project I'm going to show you how to make. It uses the pillow box dies. Let me find those here. Pretty pillow box dies. And instead of a pillow box, I made this little treat holder or gift card holder. 
and I am going to be featuring this on my Facebook Live Sunday night at 7 p.m. Central Time. So I hope you can tune in. You will find the link on my blog and just look for Facebook Live and I'll be featuring this and showing how to make this. This is super fun and it's very easy also. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. If you would like to place an order, I always appreciate your orders. This is my current host code. If your order is under $150, you wanna use this code. If your order is over $150, don't use the code. You're gonna get some rewards from Stampin' Up! and I definitely want you to have those. Don't forget, we have a super special going on right now. You can become a discount shopper for $75 and choose $125 worth of product, anything you want in any of our catalogs. You get to pick exactly what you want. You get to become a discount shopper where you'll get a 20% discount on all your future orders. And if you are a stamper, you should be getting a discount on your orders and you get to be part of my team, which is a whole nother ball game. It comes with so many benefits. It's so much fun. But again, this was a swap that I received in our team swap. We do it every month. It's so much fun. D Esplana, you knocked it out of the park. This card just made me gasp. And I thank you so much for allowing me to recreate it for everybody today. Don't forget, click down here, first of all, to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I am almost hitting 25,000 subscribers. So if you can click on that subscribe button and jump me over that threshold, I would so appreciate it. It'll be something to celebrate. Click right up here. That's going to take you over to my blog where you can find my online ordering button from my store. You're going to find tons of creative inspiration there. But more importantly, you're going to find photos of these items along with dimensions and scoring, um, a complete ingredient list so that you don't have to search all over the place for what was that stamp set, that Marius Moments bundle. Um and this bundle, I believe, is $54. You get 16 stamps. You get all the dies that go with this. There are 16 dies. And you also get that fabulous hybrid embossing folder. All of this for $54. Now, you add a little bit of ribbon and some maybe cardstock or some embellishments, and you're already at $75. Order the starter kit, become a discount shopper. You get to try it out for a minimum of the end of March. You will get to use your discount, see if it's for you, enjoy being on my team where we have a ton of other fabulous stampers that love the same thing you do. Okay, click up here for the blog hop. Click down here to subscribe. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Have yourselves a wonderful Thursday. Bye-bye.